Hey guys, so I've been meaning to do this video a little while ago, but I got sick and I kinda still am a little. But I've completed the entire Cuphead Mystery Mini Collection. And here we go. I've got all of them, obviously, that I really wouldn't be doing this video. And tell me in the comments below which one out of all these is your favorite. Mine has to be old little KG Carnation right here. Because this one's awesome. It uh, has the pose from the game where he's about to shoot like the, either the little boomerang or the like acorns at you. There we go. That's awesome. Here's a little mug man right here. In the like shooting position. It's weird. His shoes are so glossy. Same with Cuphead over there. There we go. Him and Cuphead also like have trouble standing or like being put down and able to stand. But here we go. We have Cuphead right here. He's kind of got the same facial expression and uh, motion as uh, when you're starting up the boss uh, fight. Pulling up his pants seems like a personal problem. <laughs> Okay, and here we have Psycarrot, I believe his name is. It doesn't really say it in the game. They're just called the Root Pack. Him, the Onion, and the Potato. Which, they could make so many more mystery minis for, like, a Series 2. Here he is. He's got, like, the third eye in his mouth open where he shoots, of course, like, the little uh, beams out of his eye. So there we go. Here's Rumor Honey Bottoms. This is a really cool boss fight, in my opinion. She, like... Actually, I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen it yet. And tell me also in the comments below if uh, how far you are or if you've completed it already. Uh, the entire set of them. There you go. Here, there's uh, Rumor Honey Bottoms. Now we have King Dice. And I like barely just got to his uh, part on the uh, on Cuphead. And I realized that this actually is the perfect face for him. First I was like, well, that, doesn't, that looks a little odd. Then with like the King Dice Pop, and there we go. Of course, he's a dice, so he has, his nose is a little uh, one. There we go. We got Ribby and Croaks in their little uh, like cash machine form. There we go. Uh, you can see like the little disc with the spikes coming out. It's also a cool boss fight. Then we have Mugman in the plane. Here he is. He looks awesome. What are you, just the same as Cuphead in the plane, but of course blue and has Mugman's head. That's awesome. And here we have Werner Werman. He also had a cool boss fight, with, especially like at the end. It's a weird reveal. I'm not going to say what it was, though. There you go. Now we have Domini the Great. A little genie on the magic carpet. There we go. We also have Hildeberg in our moon phase. Here's the side where her face is like shooting out with her tongue flailing everywhere. There we go. Of course, she's a, like a quarter moon or something. There we go. Now we have the devil. I actually haven't gotten to him yet, so I believe this is supposed to be like a goat. Here he is. Here's the side. Here's the back of him. He's got little hooves right there. There we go. Now we have Beppy the clown. And I figured out what this is. This is like uh, at the start of the level before he gets into the little, uh, like, go-kart. Or not go-kart, um, bumper cars. Cart. There we go. Got a little tiny top hat. And then we got Briny Beard. On a little, like, uh, piece of wood because you can see he wouldn't be able to stand very well with little two peg legs. Here's the back. And then we have Calamaria. An awesome looking one with the dead octopus on her head. There we go. Of course, she's a mermaid. There we go. There's the little telly. I actually don't see that in the actual boss fight. Now we have Cuphead in the plane. Little tiny nose compared to Mugman and his, him in the plane. There he is. Uh, Mugman in the plane actually has the straw just like curving like it's going like that, but of course it's been like Cuphead actually is. Now we've got Varanus Von Bonbon, don't really know how to say her name, but I think I got it right. She's holding a little candy cane, and her dress kind of looks like a cake. It's weird, her mouth, or mouth, <laughs> mouth looks like a heart, and doesn't really look like she has, like, any opening for a mouth. There you go, a little ice cream cone on the back of her head. And now we've got Grim Matchsticks. You know, sticking out his tongue, looking all creepy and weird. Of course, he's a dragon with little scales going down his back, or spikes. Little tiny wings that look like they wouldn't really be able to carry him, or like make him fly. But there's a little tail back there. So that's awesome. And so, there's all of the Cuphead Mystery Minis. Really hope they make a series two of these with like, um, 
who else? Like more of the root pack. Uh, you know that I think about. It. I can't think of any more. Uh, oh, Mr. Chimes, which I heard they're making a pop of him and like Cuphead in the plane and all that. Uh, maybe like more of a uh, like the Magic Eight Ball, which looked really cool and all that. Like the lady who I can't remember her name, her name, but the lady who's like a Russian roulette table. That would be that would be like a cool pop even like a ten inch or something. Tell me down in the comments below which like pops and mystery minis you would like to see for Cuphead that they haven't made already. That'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.